Long ago, about 2000 years, when King Herod ruled Judea, now part of Israel, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman who lived in the northern town of Nazareth. The girl's name was Mary and she was engaged to marry Joseph. The angel named Gabriel was sent to give Mary this good news. Mary says, Who are you? Gabriel replied, Peace be with you. I am a messenger of God. God has blessed you and is pleased with you. Mary was very surprised by this and wondered what the angel meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid. God has been very kind to you. You have been chosen by God to give birth to a baby boy and you will call him Jesus. He will be God's own son and his kingdom will never end. Mary was very afraid, but she trusted God. Let it happen as God chooses. She replied to the angel. Then Gabriel, the angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and explained that Mary had been chosen by God to be the mother of his son and told Joseph that the baby would be named Jesus, which means savior, because he would save people. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him to do and took Mary as his wife. At this time, the land where Mary and Joseph lived was part of the Roman Empire. The Roman Emperor Augustus wanted to have a list of all the people in the empire to make sure they paid their taxes. He ordered everyone to return to the town where their families originally came from and enter their names in a register there. Uh, so Mary and Joseph traveled very slowly from Nazareth to Bethlehem because Mary's baby was due to be born soon. When they reached Bethlehem, they had problems finding somewhere to stay. So many people had come to register their names in the census that every house was full and every bed was taken in all of the guest rooms. When they reached the last inn, the innkeeper said, I am sorry, all the rooms are taken. But Joseph pleaded and requested him to spare some space as Mary was too tired to walk any further. The innkeeper then said that the only place to stay was with the animals in the stable. So in the place where the animals slept, Mary gave birth to Jesus, the son of God. There's assurance, Jesus and fields outside Bethlehem, shepherds were looking after their sheep. 
when suddenly an angel appeared before them and the glory of God shone around them. The shepherds were very, very scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid. I have good news for you and everyone. Today in Bethlehem, a savior has been born for you. You will find the baby lying in a manger. The shepherds heard the angels praising God, singing, Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconcile. Heart the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. Heart the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. So the shepherds followed Gabriel, and went to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph with baby Jesus. They bowed their heads in respect to the Son of God. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright scar appeared in the sky. Some wise men in faraway countries saw the star and guessed what it meant. They were very clever men that studied the stars and had read in very old writings that a new star would appear when a great king was born. They set out to find the new king and bring him gifts. The wise men followed the star towards the country of Judea and when they got to the capital called Jerusalem, they began to ask people, Where is the child who is born to be king of the Jews? Herod, the king of Judea, heard this. And it made him very angry to think that someone might be going to take his place as king. Herod sent for the wise men to come to him. He told them to go on following the star until they had found the baby king. He said, when you have found him, let me know where he is so that I can go and worship him. But Herod did not tell them that he really had an evil plan in mind to kill the new king. The wise men followed the star towards Bethlehem, where it said that the king would be born in the old writings. It seemed to stop and shine directly upon the place where Jesus was. The wise men entered the stable, where they found Jesus with Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. The wise men spread the gifts they had brought before Jesus. So this is how Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, was born. 